Hey guys, check it out. We got a 44 mag right here. Uh, went to the range today. It's Father's Day, so happy Father's Day for all you fathers. I am not one. Thank God. <laughs> I can't handle that shit. Um, but anyway, we're looking at a Smith & Wesson 44 mag from the Performance Center. I think if I'm right, the number is 629. Um, but I could be wrong on that one. So let's let's take a look real quick. What are we looking at here? So Smith & Wesson from the Performance Center, okay? Um, do a fantastic job. We got a very, very bright neon, um, like neon red um, fill. So it's not a paint. It's like a, uh, well, it is a paint, but it's not just like painted on. There's actually a, come on. Let's see, right there. Let's focus right there. There we go. So it's actually like a, a cutout in the front blade and it's filled with a lot more paint than uh, normal, than just painted on something. So it's it's almost like a, a capsule with gel in it. Um, and it's more red than what's showing up on this camera. But it's got the um, vented tip of the barrel. And this is unloaded, guys. I wouldn't be doing that crap if it was loaded. So we're looking good, okay? There's nothing in here. Speaking of, it is a six shot. Okay, it is uh, fluted. You know the cylinders fluted, and there you go. It does say 44 mag. Now I wasn't the biggest fan of this design when we first got this thing. Um, see how the barrel? Let's say just back to autofocus. There we go. See how the barrel kind of gets thicker? It's just a little bit different shape of a barrel. I like the more traditional ones a little bit. But it definitely grew on me. It's a nice looking gun. Um, the biggest difference I would say from the Performance Center is the trigger. And holy cow, it is a smooth trigger. Um, it's got the Hogue, uh, labeled Smith & Wesson, but I'm pretty sure this is, eh, let's see. Yeah, there you go. It's a Hogue grip with the Smith & Wesson logo on it. So it's that rubberized grip texture that I like. Uh, I've been trying to tell you guys I love that stuff in a, um, in an AR pistol grip review, but I just haven't been able to make the darn video. Something keeps messing up. But it's a good grip. It's a big gun. I mean, this is, um, I don't know, I think this is one of their bigger frames. A KJ or N frame, something like that. Um, so it's a big old frame. Fits the hand well. Uh, big fan of this gun. It's, I don't know how heavy it is. You guys can look it up on their website. But what we have up here is the Pictini mount or the Weaver mount, whatever you want to call it, that screws on top instead of the uh, lower profile one. And we mounted a red dot, or a, yeah, a red dot sight on it, from NC Star, or just, yeah, NC Star. And uh, you know, these are cheap sights, probably cost 45 bucks. Um, I purchased this when I had no idea what I was doing with uh, you know pistols. I was brand new, didn't know if it was good, bad, or whatever. I'll turn it on for you guys just so you can get an idea. So there is the there's the dot. So what's this one? This one is the um, crosshairs with the circle and the dot in the center of it. Um, looks a lot different in person than through this camera. But let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. Oh, there you go. Look at that. So that's what it looks like. Um, it looks good. It looks crisp. For 45 bucks. it's pretty cool that it looks that good. There you go. But, so we zeroed it in. We had a laser sight in there. Uh, you know, one of those lasers that go in the uh, one of the cylinders through the bore. Lined it up, and at about 20 yards, it was hitting dead on for about three rounds. And then... Uh, and then it got moved way off. So this thing could not handle the recoil of a 44 mag. Um, at the point I started noticing it, it was about, a f from 20 yards, it was about a foot high and a foot to the left. That's where the bullet was going. So that means the sight got moved, you know, low right. 
And uh, yeah, it just, I mean, what do you expect? It can't hit it. So all the reviews where it says it uh, can't handle heavy recoil and all that stuff. Yep. They're absolutely right. It, it absolutely cannot, but not a big deal. We just took it off and shot with the irons. It's a great gun. The iron sights are good. Um, try and get you a picture of them. There we go. Let's see if I can focus on the back one. There we go. So it was good iron sights. You can see that front one is really bright. It's great in uh, bright daylight. So that's about it. Um, big fan of the gun. It's a heavy beast. Uh, it is a big gun, but man, it's neat. Uh, big fan of it. Let's see if I can give you just a couple different angles. There she is. Still dirty, haven't cleaned it out. That's what I'm about to do. There you go, just figured I'd show it off a little bit. Tell you the funny story of the uh, NC Star. Not, surpri not surprising, it was just cool to actually see something you hear about actually happen. You know, so it's like, oh yeah, look at that. And when it does happen, it kind of makes you say, okay, I do need to pony up the, you know, 200 bucks on a Burst Fast Fire or the four, 450 on a uh, Vortex uh, Razor or the 500 plus on a Trigicon. You know, so that is the difference. On a heavy caliber like this, that's the difference. If this thing's on a 22, you know, I bet you it'd last fine on a 22. Maybe a 9, I don't know. But a 44 mag, it certainly cannot handle. But there you go. Just figured I'd uh, you know, show this off while I have it here cleaning it. Awesome gun to shoot. Awesome gun to shoot. The recoil is... It's substantial, but it's not, you know, it's not wrist-breaking or anything like that. Um, it's definitely manageable. You can actually shoot it fairly quick. You know, I'm not saying rapid fire, but you can reacquire the target pretty quick with this thing. Uh, it is a heavy gun, so it manages it well. This grip is fantastic. So since there's no slippage, you really can, you know, get a good purchase on it and um, reacquire the target pretty quickly. That ported barrel probably helps. But there you go. Uh, so that's um, that's it. If you have any questions, do you want a specific thing to see about this gun? Just let me know. But that's the video on the Smith and Wesson 44 Mag. I think it's uh, like I said, Performance Center. I think it's uh, model number 629. All right, guys. See you later.